to our beloved Archbishop. I stand here on behalf of Centenary Group, a newly created holding company owning Centenary Bank as well as Centenary Foundation. With me, I have the chairman of the Centenary Bank, Mr. Gustavus Bochi. I have the managing director, Mr. Fabian Cassi. I have the executive director, Mr. Joseph Barikudembe. I have a director, Chris Biaruhanga, and another director, Tom Akit. In the morning hours of Saturday, 30 April 2021, 20, we received with profound shock the third news of the death of our beloved Archbishop. It was difficult to believe. It was difficult to understand. It was difficult to imagine that the Archbishop Chizito Luanga has passed on, especially after seeing him the previous day actively participating in the way of the cross. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Centenary Group and Centenary Bank, management and the entire staff, we wish to express our sincere condolences to the people of Uganda and especially to you, the chairman of this conference, His Eminence Emmanuel Karino Amara, the entire conference, the vice the Vicar General of Kampala Archdiocese, Monsignor Charles Casabante, the clergy, the laity of Kampala Archdiocese, the entire church, the family of Archbishop Chizitorwanga, and especially our staff, Rose Namtevi Lukwago, and Stella, Stella Maris Namtevi Semoria, relatives and friends on this great loss. We, the Saint family, are deeply grieved and mourn the sudden passing of his grace. Sadly, within a space of about one year, the Saint family has lost three directors and a number of staff. In February 2020, Dr. Simon Kagugube passed on. In April again 2020, Associate Professor Joseph Kasumba Sewanyana also passed on. And now in this April 2021, we have suffered another loss, a heavy loss of our Archbishop, Dr. Cyprian Historwanga. We accept that these are God's plans and may this peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, strengthen our hearts and the minds through this difficult time. The Archbishop joined Sydney Bank as a board member in 1998. He has been the longest serving director and has served on various board committees, including human resource, audit, nomination, and the governance he was due to retire in June 2021. The Archbishop was a beloved member of the Center family. The Center family was always, we always remember the Archbishop as a person who protected the mission of the bank, which is to provide appropriate financial services especially microfinance, to all people, particularly in rural areas, in a sustainable manner and in accordance with the law. He always insisted on our corporate values to make sure that we do fulfill our vision of being the best provider of financial services, especially microfinance. As of today, it's common knowledge that Centenary Bank is the best provider of microfinance and, of course, the second largest bank in Uganda. He advocated for the spiritual well being of the human person through the well being of the mind, 
body and soul. He often encouraged management and the staff in their Christian work to always remain faithful. Archbishop Chizitolwanga, in his capacity as a director, with no reservations at all, promoted the bank and encouraged all the Catholic institutions in his archdiocese, including schools, hospital circles, to bank with Centenary, our bank. He supported and guaranteed most of these institutions to secure funding from the bank for development activities. The Archbishop was very instrumental in establishing the chaplaincy of Mapera House, which is known as Uganda Matters Mapera Chaplaincy. He appointed Monsignor Dr. Lawrence Semusu as the first chaplain. Our current chaplain is the Chancellor of Kampala Archdiocese, Reverend Father Dr. Pius Marie Sentumwe. We are grateful to these two chaplains for the spiritual nourishment they have offered and they continue to render to the Sainte family. The Archbishop had a busy schedule of activities and consequently at times was unable to fulfill all the activities in time. At times was delayed to come to our body meetings. In Centenary Bank, however, whenever we were holding our body meetings, he made it a point to communicate to me in advance as a chairman or to the company secretary that he will be delayed. He always apologized to me as a chairman and other directors whenever he was delayed. To me, this is a sign of respect and I salute him for that. Allow me to be a bit selfish. On a personal note, I will forever be greatly indebted to the Archbishop Chizitorwanga. As you may be aware, Archbishop Chizitorwanga was the president of Caritas Africa. Caritas is a social arm of the Catholic Church whose headquarters are in Vatican. He did nominate me to be on the Finance Commission of Caritas International to represent not Uganda, but represent Africa. I was a member of this commission for six years, and I was able to visit Vatican 12 times in my life. And even having a meeting with His Holiness, Pope Benedict. This was such a great honor for me, and I do thank the Archbishop for giving me this great opportunity. Some of us may remember Archbishop Joseph Nakavali Chuanuka, the first African bishop south of Sahara, who died in 1966 and is buried here in Uganda Cathedral. He was a man of vision, and indeed he was. In my own opinion, Archbishop Chizitolwanga has been a man of dreams and actions. Indeed, the Archbishop had many dreams and actions. He came up with so many projects, like he transformed the entire Rubaga setup. I must say that almost every week, in our body meetings, he was always busy writing. I guess he was writing new ideas on paper. I'm not saying that he was not attentive. He was very alert, all the same. I'm sure that he had a dream. He had a dream of creating a university. I'm aware that he had a dream of transforming Wekembe into a bank. I did discourage him because I didn't want him to compete with Centenary Bank. <laughs> Instead, he was now busy trying to take into a with strong links with Centenary Bank. I'm aware that he had a dream of setting up a mineral water bottling company. I'm also aware 
that he had a dream of constructing a retirement home for the priests in Kampala Diocese, and indeed he requested me to include in the strategic plan of the Centenary Foundation this idea of retirement home. Therefore, I have no doubt that his legacy and influence will remain with us many, many, many years to come. We thank God for giving us Archbishop of Chistorwanga for 68 years. We thank God for giving us Dr. Cyprian Chistorwanga as our Archbishop and a good shepherd of Kampala. We thank God for giving us a transformational Archbishop, a man of dreams and actions. We thank God for the projects that the Archbishop has been able to establish. We thank God for giving us Archbishop Chinstorwanga as a director of our bank. The Center family, we dearly miss you, Dr. Cyprian Chinstorwanga. We pray to the Almighty to receive you into his heavenly kingdom. I am Kama, Thank you very much.